son of a bitch. Guess what we're doing today? Exactly what the thumbnail says. Why did you expect anything different? We're watching Chris Hansen. Of course. Who doesn't love this guy? Anyway, this is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. Don't take me serious. And if you do, that sucks because I am not a lawyer. Subscribe. Before I bore you with one of those, you know, YouTube intros, let's just get into the video. Slow, 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 spin the camera. Turn around. No, that was him, wasn't it? When you get into a rural area, obviously the challenge is, in many cases, the potential predator actually finding the house. There he is, there he is. There he is. Yay. All right, I mean, he's coming in. Awesome. I'm, I'm ready. He's uh, getting out of the car. Yeah, he's, uh, he's walking up the. Yeah, you can open the door. Hey! Okay. Take you a while to get here. Yeah, well, I'm taking a good direction to where they live. I'm just taking stuff out of the dryer. It'll take a second. I make you some sweet tea. Oh. Well, I have to do something to keep you around. Say what? Sounds like a roster sheet. <laughs> I got a roster sheet for my house. Colson, or Scooby Doo, walks in and is very comfortable as he comes into the house. Uh, even talking about how goofed up her directions were. You know, if somebody could give better directions, I'd have been here sooner. And uh, he jokes, and, and uh, you know, then I come out. And uh, the situation is not so funny anymore. Did you have a hard time finding the place, or why don't you have a seat right over there? I'm good, thank you. I love how absolutely oblivious the Mucinex booger is in this episode. I mean, truly, like, you walk into a house with one bar stool and no microwave, and you think you're finna hit? Crazy work on your part, my boy. Imagine someone coming to meet your daughter dressed as Shrek. I, like, genuinely would probably be happy. I'd probably be like, you know what? I'm here for the show, too. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. If there was like a donkey though, losing my mind. I'm going. You got lost, huh? Yeah, who are you? Yeah. Well, who are you? I'm Dennis. Dennis, why don't you have a seat, Dennis? Yeah, what, here, right? what, what's going on? What made you get in a car on a Saturday night this late and drive an hour and a half to come to this house? I don't know, I was just bored and wanted to hang out. Just bored? Um, yeah, that's it. Bored and wanted to hang out? Yes, sir. So how did you meet this girl? On the internet. On the internet? And what did you guys talk about? Just a lot of different things that I shouldn't have been talking about. Give me an example. Ask her if she's a virgin. And why, why would you ask that have, question of a 15-year-old really girl? Have, I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. But I really did not have any plans of doing anything tonight. I, 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 I did not have a, any plans of doing anything at all tonight. I did you bring condoms? No, no, sir. I have condoms in my car at all. You had, well, then, so you did bring condoms. Yes, but I did not buy them for So me. the answer to that question would be what? Yes, sir. You brought condoms. Yes, but they are for my... I mean, I have them for safety. For what? For safety purposes. For airbags in the car in case you get yeah, in a crash? Exactly, for airbags in the car. No, it's for if, if I run into a girl that I'm going to have sex with, you know? Then you say, so do you ever masturbate? To a 15 year old girl? What positions have you tried? Hang on one second. What positions have you tried? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. You know how to ride? You like doggy? And then you ask. Oh, God, stop. Okay. Just okay. one more. What you're you say, do you, you ask if you delete all those IMs when you're done, I'd hate to have your mom get nosy. Imagine how this guy feels right now going through this shit. You gotta love it, man. It's like a hundred times worse than the teacher finding your note that says, hey, Mr. K's ass looking mighty fat today. On that note, if you ever want to fuck with your teacher, if they start looking at your paper and grading it, just write something super weird in the top right. It doesn't matter what it is, you could do anything you want. It could be like, the tip of my pee pee burns. I think it finally hits him that, you know, my god, I'm caught here. You know, there's no way out of this now. And he's pacing and calling himself stupid and questioning why he did it. Just, hey, look, just put this down and just explain what's gonna happen to me tonight. I'm going to jail, that's what I'm asking. I am not in charge of whether or not you go to jail, but here's what I can tell you, Scooby-Doo. You don't have to call me Scooby-Doo, you call me Dennis Colson. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story okay. on guys, oh, men, trying to meet <laughs> teens on the internet. Now, you are obviously free to walk out of this house 
But if there's anything else you'd like to tell us about what went on here tonight and what you did on the internet, we'd like to hear it. If it's stupid, I'm a stupid man. That's, I mean, I do apologize. It's a very stupid thing, me, thing for me to do, but I really did have no plans of doing anything tonight at all. I just want to hang out. I know something. I have no plans. I, 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 Every predator gives the same story about how he's just here to hang out or how he's here to mentor the girl into not doing what he showed up to do to the girl. Like a fucking idiot. God damn. I understand that like in the court of law or whatever you want to not tell your business, but at the same time, you sent every message and Chris Hansen has every message. You showed up to the house. You're caught, bro. Like... He wasn't even there to Netflix and chill. He was there to Hulu and do you. You feel me? IMAX and Climax, my boy. I'm the Harris County Sheriff's Department was set up in, in like a playroom or game room next to our house. By the time he got ready to go, the Harris County Sheriff's Department and the rest of the task force uh, agents were in position to make the arrest. On the ground! Get down on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! 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 What's up, man? How you doing? Doing pretty good? I just can't talk, huh? You gotta sit there with a straight face. It'll be hard sometimes. So many people in this <laughs> up situation. Yeah, you wanna laugh. You, know, you gotta get a little giggle off sometimes. You know? I know, you, I know you're just sitting there laughing inside. Dude. No! We're all laughing at your ass. You just got caught being a chomo, dude. Not only did you get caught, but your name is fucking Scooby-Doo. And you're built like the Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters 2, and still trying to seem hard in front of the cops. What a fucking tool, dude. No, I'm just glad this guy got arrested and put in jail. Like, a genuine sentence somewhat. It's still on the easier side in my mind for this kind of behavior. But he did get a pretty long sentence compared to most of the other predators caught on this show. For some reason, I don't know why they get a slap on the wrist or complete dismissal of their case. Kids don't f up. He's not even a kid. Why is he saying kids don't fuck up? He's a grown ass man that made a decision to go try and meet a child. Like the only people that can fuck up in this way are adults. I see why you fell into a trap. You're just not that bright. It's <laughs> a bad idea. Good news, this guy was arrested and sentenced to four years in jail with 17 years of probation. Anyway. That's all for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did like, please subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and a very special thank you to Under The Stairs Gaming, thank you so much for subscribing, you guys should definitely go subscribe to him, he's been working on his last video for three fucking years, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a banger, and yeah, love you, I'll see you guys next time.